Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a past, present, and future reading for the sign of Aquarius. These messages will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So I started off by pulling some overall messages. So the first message that I have is protection. The next message is release. And the last message is wisdom. So I feel that for some of you, spirit is trying to protect you from something or from someone. And spirit is telling you that it is time for you to let go, to release this person or to release this situation so that you can move forward with your life. There's a need for you to use your wisdom, to use your knowledge, to let your past experiences really guide you when it comes to the situation. It's time for you to make the best decision for yourself to do what is best for you. So let's look at the past. So the first message that I have is the star in reverse. The next message is the Ten of Cups. And the last message is the Ace of Swords. So, with the Star in Reverse, I just get guided. So I feel that Spirit is trying to guide you, but you're not open, or you were not open, you were not receptive to the guidance that Spirit was trying to give you. It's like you really wanted this wish fulfillment when it comes to this relationship. You really felt that this person was your divine counterpart. And... I feel that there was a need for you to really use your knowledge, use your wisdom. Like I was saying in the beginning, use your past experiences to really guide you when it comes to this situation. I heard pour into you. So yes, yeah, spirit was trying to pour into you, was trying to pour into you when it comes to you being able to gain clarity on this situation in terms of this connection. Because like I said, you were very, you had very deep feelings for this person and you saw them as someone you could grow with, build with, have a family with, but it's like spirit was trying to guide you onto a different path because this person was not the right person for you. So let's get some more messages. Spirit, tell me about the star in the reverse. Look at what I have. I have the lovers. And I have the king of swords in the reverse. So, yes. You wanted this relationship. You wanted this person to be with you forever. You wanted marriage. You wanted family. You wanted to have your fulfillment when it came to this connection. And you had a difficult time releasing this person. You had a difficult time letting this person go. I heard stay. So some of you chose to stay in this connection. So let's get a message for the Ten of Cups. the eight of cups but you knew that it was time for you to walk away that it was time for you to go into a different path that this isn't the person that God had for you this is not who you were meant to be with you were not going to get your wish fulfillment when it comes to this connection let's get a message for the ace of swords
I have strength. Yes, there's a need for you to be confident, to be strong when it comes to making this choice. You needed to really be strong when walking away from this person because of your emotional attachment. You knew that you were going to have to demonstrate a lot of strength. And you were going to have to mean what you say and say what you mean. You were going to have to really walk away and mean it. No back and forth. You were going to have to truly put your foot down and do what was best for you. Because this is not the person that spirit has for you or that spirit had for you. And you knew, you knew you were going to have to do this despite the difficulty. You knew you were going to have to walk away and you were going to have to be strong in doing so because of the love you had for this person. So let's see what's in your present. I have the Queen of Swords. I have the Four of Swords in the reverse, and I have the Hermit. So I feel that presently, some of you have used your sword and cut this person out of your life. You are choosing to move forward, but it's like you are worrying about it. Like this is something that you constantly think about because you were so emotionally attached to this person. And it's like you're really doing a lot of reflecting. You're in hermit mode. You really just want to be by yourself just to think things over. So let's get a message for the Queen of Swords. Okay, I have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. I heard that you no longer see this person as an option. So for some of you, you no longer see this connection, you no longer see this relationship as an option for you. Let's get a message for the Four of Swords in the reverse. I have the Four of Cups and I have the Page of Cups, but it came out in the reverse. So I feel that you are turning down this offer. You are turning down this offer. This person may have tried to come back. They have tried to reconcile with you, but you no longer want to be with them. Like I said, you no longer see them as an option. You know, this may be something that you're stressed about because, like I said, you are emotionally connected to this person and it does hurt you to have to say no, to have to let this relationship go and move on with your life. But you know that you are doing what is best for you. You know that this is necessary. So let's get a message for the hermit. the queen of cups in the reverse so yes like i said right now you may be really dealing with some emotional instability due to your connection with this individual and i heard hurting right now you're hurting you're not in an emotional stable place you're really going through your healing process and you want to be alone. You want to be by yourself. You really don't want to be around people. You want to just go through this alone. 
You want to deal with this by yourself. You don't really want to talk to anyone. This is something that truly saddens you. It bothers you deeply because you really felt that this person was someone that you could build with. You really put a lot of energy, time, and effort into this connection. So let's see what's going to take place in the future. So I have the Four of Pentacles. I have the Page of Cups in the reverse. And I have the Devil. Okay, so I feel that for some of you, you are going to be focused on yourself. And not only are you going to be focusing on yourself, but it's like you're going to be real with yourself. With this Page of Cups in the reverse, like you are finally going to be real with yourself about this connection. You know that this connection is unhealthy, that it is toxic. This person may have some toxic behavior, addiction. And you know that this is not something that is truly going to make you happy. This, this connection is not stable. And it's like you're finally going to be real with yourself about this connection, about this person. You're going to accept the situation. You're going to accept this person for who they truly are. So let's get a message for the Four of Pentacles. Yes, I feel like you're just finally going to accept the connection for what it was. So I have the Six of Wands in the reverse. I have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And I have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So yes, it's like you are accepting this connection for what it is. You realize that this connection was not stable. You realize that you were not going to see the success that you wanted with this person. You were not going to have your Ten of Cups because of the energy that this person was in. You knew that you were not going to get your wish fulfillment. So let's get a message for the Page of Cups in the reverse. page of pentacles in the reverse and i have the two of cups in the reverse so yes like i said you are being very realistic when it comes to this connection you realize that this is not someone that you could deal with that you can have a family with this is not someone who is stable who will be willing to put in the same amount of effort and energy that you're putting into the connection and you realize that you're not going to be able to have the new beginning with them that you hope for so let's get another message. Okay. I have the Ace of Cups so in the reverse. Yes emotionally unstable this person is emotionally unstable they're in a very toxic energy they may be verbally abusive or even possibly physically abusive to some of you but this person is very emotionally unstable therefore that is why they are not able to give you the commitment that you want because they have things that they have not healed from and therefore any energy that they bring forth in this connection is going to be toxic because they're operating from a toxic place they're operating from a place that has not been healed so let's get one more message And I'm sorry about the noise. My neighbors, they're cutting down a tree in their backyard. OK. 
Okay. I have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yes, change. You are changing. You are going to be changing your perspective on this relationship, on this connection. You are going to be changing as a person. You're going to know what you want out of a connection. You're going to understand your value. You're going to understand what you deserve. And you are going to be willing to move forward. You are going to be willing to make this change. So I hope that this message resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.